Hey, it's Elizabeth Pounce of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do keto meal prep. My keto meals, including buffalo chicken, deviled eggs, the easiest recipe, and a bunch of others coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Pounce of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do keto meal prep. My keto meals that are the easiest ever. Keeping it simple here, where Royal Weight Loss meets real life. We're gonna do a buffalo chicken recipe. A deviled eggs, the easiest you've ever made, uh, grilling up some steaks and grilling up some hamburgers. But first, before we dive into my awesome content, make sure and make sure you dance your fingers down, click like, click subscribe, and sign up for my free weekly Wednesday. It's my keto diet meal plan, my gift to the counts of low carb community, so we can all lose weight together, right? Isn't that the purpose with intermittent fasting and weight loss? through the ketogenic diet. All right, let's dive into the content. The first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and make, my first item for my keto meal prep is going to be my buffalo chicken, the easiest recipe if you are a busy mom and you got lots on your plate, like I do. So what you're first gonna need is I got my chicken from Costco. It's organic chicken. Do the best you can afford. Certainly, organic is best, grass-fed is best. All those things are best, but do the best that you can afford. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my water into my Instapot. I don't forget. And then I'm gonna add my chicken breast in there. These are still partially frozen. I can feel that they're partially frozen, so I'm just gonna up the time a little bit. I'm gonna put these in there. I frequently, one of my, one of my keto diet meal prep hacks is I get my meat from Costco. That's the best for my area of what I found for cost-wise for keto on a budget. I freeze it, and then when I'm ready to use it, I will thaw it out to use it um, in my crock pot or in my Instapot. For this episode, I had one thing of chicken that was frozen and one thing that was not frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my pink salt in. I added more chicken breasts in there. Of course, the recipe is down in the description link below. Get some of my Italian seasoning and I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. One to grow on and I'm gonna close this bad boy up. And all of these recipes will also be in the description link below. I got this bad boy going. It's on 28 minutes on high pressure. We'll let it rock and roll. So I cooked my buffalo chicken. I put it in the crock pot with some water with my spices. Again, those will be in the description link below. And I cooked it on high pressure for 28 minutes. And that's because part of the chicken was frozen. After it was all done, I scooped out using a strainer, divided out the chicken broth that I made, and then also my chicken. That chicken stock, that chicken broth, I will put in my freezer and I will use it for future um, keto instant pot videos, or future keto instant pot recipes, keto um, slow cooker recipes. I'll use it for a bunch of different things. <laughs> you one thing. Are you registered for my Wednesday, June 19th fasting workshop? It's online and it's free, but there's limited quantities. Go register down in the description link below. Now back to the content. I separated out my chicken for that. I mix into it my hot sauce. Just make sure your hot sauce does not have sugar added. Super important. You can use mayonnaise. I love Duke's, but there is soybean oil in that. I've talked about this pretty much on every single video I've done. Of we know that primal mayonnaise is the best or making your own is the best or chosen foods. I will put those all in the description link below because they're made out of avocado oil and not out of soybean oil. Soybean oil can be inflammatory and cannot be super good for you. I just like the taste of Dukes because there's no sugar added. If you get something like Hellman's, they have soybean oil, which is inflammatory, and sugar, which is also inflammatory too. Get your kids involved in helping with meal prep. They will learn vital skills. Isn't that right, bud? Yeah. Mm hmm You're a very good scooper. Spicy? Mm -hmm. Or we make it just right? Spicy. It looks spicy to me. That looks delicious. Mm -mm -mm. And I also mix into their cream cheese. I got that cream cheese from Aldi, by the way. Those tubs, like the bricks at Aldi where I shop are 89 cents. The tubs are like $1.29 or something like that. This is such a keto on the budget type of meal. Cheap keto and it does not have to be expensive for your keto meal prep. 
parsley. So for mine, I put on two cups of spinach, a little bit of oil. I'm gonna scoop this on top and we're gonna get the portions. And you can go ahead and put some apple cider vinegar on there too as a great um, salad dressing. So then we mix all of those ingredients together. My little boy got to be actively involved. And then I put mine over a delicious bed of two cups of spinach. You can use two cups of romaine. Because of the potassium in spinach, it actually has more potassium in spinach than a banana, which I say in my every video, but now you know for Jeopardy trivia that you can get your potassium through eating spinach. I love having spinach now. I used to hate it. It's now one of actually my favorite things. If you put a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some olive oil or hemp seed oil or some sort of other oil that's not canola oil or vegetable oil. Those are no-nos for keto, but other types of oils to get your high fat, moderate protein, low carbon. And that is an easy, easy meal that you can make wrapped in a romaine lettuce. You can use it for leftovers. You can put it in like omelets. You can do a lot with this extra leftover chicken um, besides just having the buffalo chicken with it. My next keto meal prep recipe I'm gonna be making is my infamous, my infamous, my famous, my famous deviled eggs. This is my southern recipe circa 1960s, 1950s from my grandmother. Yes, I said my grandmother. It is an important recipe to me, to me because I'm southern, well partially. And part of that southern heritage is deviled eggs. So um, I love me some good deviled eggs and this is my recipe. So my Instapot just beeped five minutes on high pressure. I'm gonna let it sit in there for five minutes on, um, is it manual? Is that the word? Manual? We're gonna let it sit for five minutes and then I'm gonna make the steam go Psh! This is super technical. Sesame Street chef here. <laughs> Royal Weight Loss meets real life for our keto meal prep. So first you're gonna go ahead and cook your eggs in the Instapot. The Instapot that I'm using today is my Kasari Instapot. I will put that in the description link below. I love Kasari's products. I have tons of them in my kitchen because they're really easy to use and um, make it user friendly for a Sesame Street chef like myself. And it's just letting all the little steam out. I've already got my ice bucket set up and another cup of ice. I do like to be mindful when putting the eggs, transferring them in. They're hot, this ice is gonna melt, and I've had it frequently go on my beautiful floors. So just making sure you don't overpack the bowl. Ideally, I should have used a glass bowl instead of a plastic bowl. Not smart on my end. Um, so use a glass bowl. So once I cook my deviled eggs, I, once I cook my hard boiled eggs, I put them in a little ice bath to get the shells off to help shock their system. The helper, he came to help. So these, I just took the lid off um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in their delicious ice bath. Then I peeled the eggs. Um, and put the whole peeling separated and put the whole eggs. I dip those in water just to make sure the shells are off of them. So now that these have been in their egg baths, I'm simply gonna go ahead and start cracking them and getting them cleaned up. These are what they look like. I had so many eggs that the timing wasn't quite right as you can see, um, but that's okay. I'm totally okay with that because I'm going to make out of these um, my awesome keto, um, my keto deviled eggs. So I'm totally okay with that. And then from there, I will cut them in half, separate the yolks, separate the white egg whites. I got it. Now. Did you crack it for me? Thank you. Can you do the next one? He's the cracker on the peeler. We're good assembly line here. Wait, not too hard. Crack it on the side right there. There you go. Good job, bud. No, no. And put the egg whites on a tray. You can wrap those up and put in a Ziploc bag. I try to not use plastic bags as much anymore per viewer comments. So put in comments below if you have other environmentally friendly tips for me. But um, I've used now only Ziploc bags for the piping of my deviled eggs. Yeah. It's an egg extravaganza. I'm about partially way through getting these done. Now encouraged to help her to come clean up my disgusting eggshells. <laughs> so I take the egg yolks, I can mix my ingredients in them, which are in the description link below, and then cut the, the Ziploc bag or the, the plastic bag to pipe it into the eggs. It makes it so easy. And then you just throw away the plastic bag after you're done piping them. 
up in here I do have a piper, a professional piper, but like, you gotta clean it, it's messy. With a three-year-old, he's licking his fingers and I'm trying not to let him put his fingers in the egg yolks. So it was just easier on this round to use a plastic bag to pipe the deviled eggs with. So number three in my keto meal prep for my keto meals, and these are easy keto meals. I love me some lazy keto. It's just simply using now that it's spring, summertime, the grill. Let's get smart here, folks. If you have a busy schedule and you also want to stay keto on a budget, one of the best things you can do is use your grill um, because it's simple and easy and you can have leftovers. So what I do traditionally, here's one of my steaks that I made on my grill. You can use for keto meal prep, cooking steaks, make those portions, and then have that the next day for your keto lunch, or make it for your keto dinner the next day having leftovers. That's pretty much what I do with all of my keto meal prep meals. Um, to make it simple, is I will cook extra and then swing that to the next day's meal and just have leftovers. We're gonna flip these beauties. Have the YouTuber burn her eyebrows off. That's my story. So the next thing I cook number four for my keto meal prep is hamburgers. You can buy in bulk beef. <laughs> I would suggest getting the higher fat content, like an 80% beef, as opposed to like the 90% lean. Get your high fats from your meat. Um, do an 80% beef. I like getting mine from Costco, but you can get awesome grass-fed patties from various other sources. If you buy in bulk, it's gonna save you money. Just use your freezer to freeze your beef and then make sure you thaw it out and then cook it on the grill. You can thaw it out the night before in the refrigerator so everything stays good and you don't get food poisoning. Not that I, as a Sesame Street chef, has ever done that. Yes, no, yes. <laughs> Number five is, so I cooked steaks before. You can do ribeyes or New York strips are another great keto meal that you can have that's super, super easy. Literally just having your steak on the grill. Um, I like my medium well. You can use a thermometer to, to check the internal temperature. Um, I can tell now just pushing my tongs on it how much when I push it, <laughs> if it's cooked well, like the way I want it to be cooked. Another tip for the keto diet is having grass-fed butter on top. I have a hole in my refrigerator a plethora of grass-fed butter stockpile. So I'll just put a pat of butter on top of my steak. Sometimes that's the meal. Sometimes adding two cups of spinach or other low-carb veggies to my meal makes for a delicious keto meal prep meal. You make one and again, make extra for the next day for your keto lunch or for your keto dinner the following day. helpful make sure you dance your fingers down and click like that's so other people know that this video is of value make sure you click subscribe to see all things keto all things intermittent fasting and make sure you sign up for my free weekly wednesday weight loss email where i give you my keto diet meal plan for free can you handle it i can barely contain my excitement anyways i can't wait to make can't wait to make these meals and make it a powerful day bye guys